Hello everybody, today with me is my buddy Matthias and together we will make some reusable aluminium air battery. That's right. So we will make some reusable aluminium air battery. Yes. And to make this reusable aluminium air battery, this is what we need. Some plastic housing like this one with a lid of course. Two pieces of current collectors for the positive and the negative electrode. In our case, we use some titanium foil. This is because the titanium is not so reactive like copper or aluminium. Then we have some separator. The separator is made from filter paper. Then we have the positive active material, which is in our case this activated carbon felt, but you can also use some activated carbon powder. And then here we have some 3D printed plastic spacer. This spacer will separate the positive and the negative electrode. And then the electrolyte, we use some table salt electrolyte. This is because we don't use any uh, sodium or potassium hydroxide because this is PLA 3D printed plastic and the sodium or potassium hydroxide can dissolve this plastic really easily. That's why for this reason we use some salt electrolyte. And for the last, the aluminium, which is the, actually the fuel of this cell. And now, Matthias will put this cell together. So first we will use this uh, positive current collector. Okay, just a second. So, so, okay. Now we will take... The activated carbon felt will go on the top of this uh, titanium foil current collector. We will also pre-wet uh, the activated carbon felt with sodium chloride electrolyte. The separator will go on the top of the activated carbon felt. And this is now the actually air cutout uh, for this aluminium air battery. Current collector, activated carbon felt and the separator. So the plastic spacer is in this container and also this air cut out. Now we will put the second or the negative current collector in place. Uh, this current collector will go, I mean will fill this bottom space. Like so. And now the cell is almost ready. Here is the air cathode and the negative current collector is also in place. Now we will fill this cell with the electrolyte. Here will go the electrolyte. You think it's enough? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, a little bit more. Just in case. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. Now the cell is also filled with the sodium chloride electrolyte. And now we just need some fuel. But first we will connect this motor. Okay. 
<laughs> really awesome. <laughs> So when the battery, or better to say the fuel cell, will be discharged, then in this case you just add some fresh aluminium. this cell together and here is the close set cell but if you want you can also make several of these cells like so to make some battery. And to make this cell a little bit more better, then in this case you need to fill this uh, space full with aluminium. And also I will add a little bit more of the electrolyte. Now I need actually so much of aluminium that this lid will push down this uh, aluminium foil to the current collector, to the negative current collector. And now, because this lid pushes down this aluminium to the current collector, the battery creates much, much better power. So guys, this was the project about reusable aluminium air battery, which in this case, you only need to add some fresh aluminium that the battery will work, right? Yes. So, that's it for now, and we see us in the next video. Bye. Bye.